Pal again. Duck on the clock with more Lost Wayfarers by Vampir Umbra. We are heading to Dark Floor Manor. We are heading to actually progress because we've spent the last several videos on a giganto massive detour. Alright, let's see what kind. Who dareth enter my dark lore manor, my spectral sanctity? Thou shalt descend into eternal shadows for interloping here. Yeah. You know what? It's on the path, so I'm gonna do all the interloping that I want. Okay. No, I had to try. Apparently, no, it is not something there. Well, there's a door, and there's also moving further on. There's also me spending time getting a dragon coin after I completely ignore the first one. What? Excuse me. What the actual hell? I'm trying to go in the door. I Okay, that's the first uh, weird thing this uh, ghost house has actually done, and uh, it's more than enough. What in the world was that? Mario does not typically just randomly go invisible. Clearly that Big Boo had something to do with it, obviously, because... It was not exactly in its... I... was spin jumping on that. Sir, please behave in a rational and reasonable manner. By the by, in case it's not obvious, I have absolutely no idea what I should be doing or where I should be going. That's right, Vamp Rumber has the fetish for the invisible blocks. And we're back here. Okay. Some semblance of sense is going on here. My problem is, that was a very strange sound effect. I did not want to go in that door. Yes, I am backing out of that. Uh, because I have a limited timer, and that was not something that I was even trying to do. The up direction is mildly oversensitive on this controller. Just a touch. Okay, the P-switch going invisible is something that I get. The P-switch going visible when Mario goes invisible is not. Uh... Obstacles such an esoteric sanctum such as this will possess insidious illusory. Be vigilant for the other houses may have walkthroughs. Yeah, but that probably wasn't what the issue was here. Yeah, I have to start over. 
Well, I don't have to explore so much. I just have to get to the door I need to get to. And then I need to figure out where the peace switch is used. I don't like having to scrounge around for a, a, the location of a peace switch. I have this like I don't like scrounge having to scrounge around for the location of me either. I probably have like one last shot at this. Unless I uh, plop down a temp spot there. Because this could be literally anywhere on this level. There was no indication of uh, any hidden door. Well, it wasn't there. Well, it doesn't feel like that ghost actually hit me, but whatever. That one, I just was not dealing with well. Oh, it's right there. Okay, well. Uh, it's a big Boo Boss. At the very least, though, uh, Boo Congas are easier to dodge than uh, Eerie Generators. Albeit somewhat on the nerve-wracking side sometimes. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I was dead if I stayed there. They're kind of in sync right now. That's kind of a good thing for me. Means I really only have to dodge one. I'm unhappy about how all of that turned out. Entirely sure, I'm gonna be able to keep using this controller. Have to see if I can calibrate it or something. And that music is going at an awfully quick pace. It's going at an awfully quick pace here, too. Uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, this is part of that known bug with the uh, music tool. <laughs> Alright, well... I'm going to just ignore that for now, and we're going to go to Diamond Dot Valley. And of course, 
Castlevania music because it's a Vamp Rumber hack. Uh, I don't have a problem with that. It's just... <laughs> it's just predictable at this point. Although it is a little bit more up-tempo than the typical version, but uh, that's not exactly part of the intent. Yeah. No sheep. Please be more accurate with your tongue. Probably need to hit that block with something in order to get up there properly. Oh, okay, I get it. These shell guys are here to provide me with ammunition. And these shell guys are here to be ammunition. They're not doing a very good job of it. One could say I'm not doing a very good job of taking advantage of it, but I choose to blame them instead. Yeah. Okay, for some reason that is enough to despawn those shells. Even though I can still literally see him. Nope. Your uh, X position is arbitrarily high enough that uh, it just does not work. Ah! I need to be less... Oh, I can't... I need to find the one, what, the one block that actually works? Yeah, that was what it was. All of those turn blocks, but only one of them actually turn. The others just turn into regular blocks. Oh, jeez. Um, it's kind of a hard one to take advantage of. <sighs> I almost managed to... Uh, Get a one-up combo there, but uh, just not quite. <laughs> that was a remarkably simple and straightforward level. Are we sure we're still playing a Vamp Rack? Oh, yeah, we're sure. Because uh, the stage names are still <laughs> absurdly esoteric. Uh, yeah. I'll do one more. Hopefully I won't regret it. Cliffside Cavamen. I don't need the mushroom. It's trying to chase me down. It wants to be eaten. Uh, I'm trying... Uh, my lights just flickered. <laughs> very, very quickly, and I don't know why. Kind of distracted me. I'm choosing that to explain why I just played absolutely awfully there. Uh, I can't... now... whoa, okay, did that again. Yeah, that, I hope, is not going to be a persistent thing. Alright, well, it looks like I have to take this very slowly because I'm doing a terrible job of any, everything here.
Okay, yeah, so, uh... I was just trying to figure something out there. Yeah, it's just that, uh... The up direction is a touch on the sensitive side. Or, well, it's not that the up direction is on, on the sensitive side, it's actually the left direction is on the sensitive side. Such as that if I am pressing even a, a, a teeny tiny bit to the left, I am terrified of what's going on down there. I have reason to be. Anyway, if I'm pressing even a tiny bit to the left when I'm pressing up, it's gonna register as me as going left. It's not as sensitive on the right side. I have a little bit more leeway there. A normal amount of leeway, one might say. Don't like having. Ah, I was. I did not course correct very well there. No, oh, wow, the lot more uh, Buzzy Beetles showed up that time. All right. Things are starting off a little bit better, though. As well as uh, in real life, where I have no uh, weird light uh, flashing. That's just for a one-up, I don't need that. Whew. That was... that's a tight jump. Okay, don't have to worry about that. Yoshi will not be going anywhere. Ah! I, my aim is terrible! Doesn't matter whether I have a Mega Man Buster or a Fireball or a Yoshi Tongue, my aim remains as true as ever. Truly awful. <laughs> Alright, nothing to worry about there. I have the powerful shoes of Yoshi. And we're at the end. That stage did not have a midpoint in it. It was also kind of short, uh, so that's kind of a justification for it. It's mostly me being bad, that was the problem. Anyway. That's all for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.